Buckle up guys, this van is packing a truly horrendous mess that was either caused by life on the farm or a few too many trips to Taco Bell. going on guys and welcome to the channel now in today's episode this 2004 Ford Freestart that is full of absolutely nasty stains is going to get the makeover of a lifetime so stay tuned Okay, well working my way around the van and to give you some background on this vehicle, I do know that the current owners recently picked up the van just before Christmas and actually named it Rudolph because of that. But anyways, I guess they just moved from the Philippines to Canada to study back in November. So with a young family, a van was an easy choice for a vehicle, but as for the mess in this one, I'm quite certain that it was used on a farm given the overwhelming amount of dust and straw, but also the bullet shells were a good giveaway too. All right, well, I'm sure at this point, some of you guys are wondering, you know, why I haven't just kicked off these giant pieces of ice with my foot. Um, and while I do admit that would probably be a lot more fun, um, in fact, I actually remember doing that as a kid and it was lots of fun. But uh, in the case of this van here, there's quite a bit of rust on, on the vehicle, uh, as you can see here, and, and especially in the wheel wells where all this ice is. Um, and I've noticed that on the other, the other couple I've done so far, but um, I'm just worried that if I do, you know, try to kick anything off, I might snag a piece of metal with it or, or something to make things worse. So. Uh, just using the pressure wash to spray the ice off here is just going to be the, the safer way to go.
All right, with Rudolph all foamed up, I'm going ahead and using my boar's hair detail brush to agitate around all the crevices, emblems, and of course, behind the gas door. And wanted to quickly mention that both the boar's hair and ultra soft brushes are on sale right now over at detailgeekautocare.com. So if you're looking for the best detail brushes on the market, then make sure you give them a look. Now as I get to work on this nasty floor mat, it's almost hard to believe what comes out of this thing. I've cleaned some really dirty mats over the years, but this one is definitely up at the top for one of the dirtiest as it took 8 full minutes of spraying to get this thing clean, which coincidentally is about the time it takes to watch one of my quick fix episodes that come your way every Tuesday right here on the main channel. Okay guys, well it's time to get to work on the interior and after having done several vans in the past, I know this is going to likely take me in the neighborhood of 8-10 to 10 hours just for the interior alone. So after getting all the seats removed, I'm also going ahead and removing as many of the trim pieces as I can to make cleaning them easier and we'll also get the center console and e-brake cover removed as well. Okay guys, well, I've got the second row of seats out now and got the front seats out and got the center console out. So I'm about to get started on vacuuming. And honestly, um, vacuuming shouldn't be too bad today. I mean, there is a little little bit of debris here and there, but uh, uh, it's really not not too bad overall. Um, and honestly, I'm kind of expecting these, these carpets here to be pretty decent quality since this is an older vehicle. So uh, they should clean up pretty good, but um, definitely where the challenge today is gonna be is with extracting because there are some really really dirty areas in here some really bad stains up front there um, so i've definitely got my work cut out for me today
moving up to the driver's seat area now, and my suspicions were confirmed. This Freestar has pretty good quality carpets in it, so vacuuming is nice and easy today, and the debris isn't stuck and hard to remove like it is in a lot of newer vehicles. And on the note of carpet quality, that's unfortunately been one of the things that has suffered as consumers want more and more technology and features in their vehicles. Manufacturers are obviously going to find a way to cut costs, and that's been one of the ways they've done it. All right, well, after a quick vacuum, here's what I'm facing today, and there's no question this will be a challenge to get the carpet looking new again, but I'm pretty confident I can do it, so I'll quickly grab my Mighty Extractor, get that plugged in, and get to work on cleaning these disgusting carpets and seats. Moving over to the driver's seat now and you'll notice that I had to repeat the whole process on the passenger seat a moment ago because there was still some dirt visible in the seat after extracting the first time so I'm expecting that to be the theme of the day today. I'll probably have to go over each seat and section of carpet at least once to be sure I've got them clean which isn't really that surprising considering how long those stains have likely been sitting there with it having been used as a farm vehicle. Okay, well it's time for the main event and I hope this shows you just how incredible my carpet cleaner is. The stains in the carpet here were super nasty and even I had my doubts as to whether I could get them out, but with the powerful cleaning agents and my green drill brush, it doesn't take long to see how good this combo is. If you have dirty carpets or seats in your own vehicle, do yourself a favor and pick up a set of drill brushes and a bottle of my carpet cleaner, which is available in the concentrate version and a ready to use one as well, over on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. I guarantee your carpets and seats will look perfect when you're done.
Now, as I tackle this middle section here that would have undoubtedly seen a ton of foot traffic over the years, you're probably wondering about all that solution that's ending up in the seat anchor points, but fear not, you'll see me suck it all up once I'm done this section, and then later on when I've got the steamer out, I'll finish cleaning in there, and once I'm done cleaning this section, I'll also make a point of lifting the carpet up to wipe things down underneath, making sure there's no solution trapped there. Okay guys, well after a couple long hours of extracting, here's the results. Pretty incredible if you ask me. Okay, with everything inside the vehicle clean now, I'll turn my attention to the seats and all the trim pieces I removed earlier. And of course, given how dirty these are, I'll be using some APC and the steamer on them. And I have to say that it never ceases to amaze me at how well this combo works. 
I haven't come across anything in the vehicle so far that I couldn't clean with APC in my steamer. So knowing that, both are things I would highly recommend. You can find the APC on my website. And as for the steamer, the link is down in the description for you, along with nearly everything else that I use in my videos. All right, well, in terms of paint protection, uh, because this van has quite a number of spots where the clear coat is failing, I'm opting for, uh, for my ceramic spray coating here for the simple fact that uh, running my machine polisher kind of over or, or near those areas where the clear coat is failing, um, you know, potentially could, could make things worse. So um, ceramic spray coating here is just gonna be the safer option. I can control the towel a little bit better and uh, yeah, we won't, uh, won't make anything worse. And we're gonna get this thing looking real good.
Hey. Hi. Come on Hi. in, take a look at your car. Oh my god. Wow. Is this our car? Nice. That's the same one, yeah. <laughs> oh, looks brand new. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You're so lucky, Rudolph. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, take a look. Okay. Take a look. This is the best part. My oh, chair. Oh wow. wow, my god. Oh, so clean. Oh. Yeah, it's looking good. All those stains came out, so. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I love sitting here. <laughs> yeah, it's like brand new on the inside. Yeah. Good and clean. And there's no smell. <laughs> it should smell good. It should smell good now. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, carpet are clean. Oh. Thank you so much for cleaning this one. Yeah. See, no, it turned out good. See, this one is very dirty when we yeah. get it. Yeah, it was, yeah. Pretty, it was pretty gross. Yeah. It's very dirty when we yeah, it's get dirty. that one. Yeah. Wow. Perfect for our family. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's, it's good to go. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> you bet. Did yeah. you post a new car? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, almost, it almost looks like it, eh? <laughs> Maybe we just change our car. Yeah. It's so Yeah, yeah it's, so uh, it's looking real good. So. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll give you the keys and uh, oh my God. enjoy it. Thank you so much. You bet. Yeah, it was my you pleasure. <laughs> you can drive. Let's go. Okay, see you guys. All right, guys. Well, 14 long hours is what it took to get this Ford Freestar rejuvenated and looking sweet again. And I have to say that after seeing those stains when I started, even I'm a little surprised at how good this thing turned out. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the guitar trail, and I'll see you guys in the next one.